Live from Market Square in downtown San Antonio, bueno, Antonio. this is SA Live. Yep, and this will get you going on a Wednesday. <laughs> Happy Wednesday, everyone. We're halfway through the week, and we have dancing giant robots. Yep, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. <laughs> I'm blown away over here. I'm Jen Tobias-Jeski in for Fiona. Yes, indeed, we have giant dancing robots, and you can have them at your next party, too. This is Saps Entertainment. We'll provide the robots. They will provide LED floors, dance floors, lighting, and a DJ as well, yeah. right? Gilbert De Los Reyes is here to tell us more about it. Good afternoon. So you said, why giant dancing robots? That's my first question. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was uh, something different. We just wanted to take parties to the next level. Wanted to bring the parties up. Just not a regular party. We want to step it up a notch. Yeah. <laughs> and you said this is, I mean, really gets a party going just by having a, an eight foot tall robot yeah. in here <laughs> doing the Watusi or whatever it may be, right? Yes, of course. I mean, I, I see, I think this is uh, something different. People will like it. People get super excited when they see this. I mean, it's something totally different. I mean, we're excited just when we saw <laughs> them walk in. And how long does it take? Because these are amazing suits, costumes, whatever you call them. How, how long does that take to put on? So it'll take us like 15, 20 minutes to get ready. And then uh, pretty much just after that, um, you know, we're ready to party. Yeah. Yeah, it's not too bad. Where did you come up with the, the costume? Who made them? So I, I saw these. These guys in Mexico, mm -hmm. so I, that's when I, uh, the idea came yeah. to bring them over here and just uh, create a new concept of uh, just taking parties to the next level and uh, partying up. <laughs> and it seems to be working because you showed me earlier a video too, but just when they are at a party, I mean, people yes. get excited. So, you, you know, maybe there's nobody on the dance floor, but then you see these cool robots on the dance floor, and that's getting people hyped up. Right? Exactly. So uh, what we do, they, they kind of put on a show. It's like a three songs, three choreographies. Wow. Then pretty much just after that, they'll just stay there with the crowd, start partying with everybody. We include some party favors as well, like those big long balloons. We'll pass them out from the presentation. We were kind of joking right before the show that you should have them for your kids' party. You said, well, they're only six and four. And you said you've had them at six-year-olds' parties, yes. right? Okay. Yeah. So any yeah. kind of party. We do all kinds of events from corporate events to quinceañera, sweet sixteens. Just any kind I of party. I tell you, my son would love It's like having Transformers at there. At the party. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so what's really exciting, you guys were on America's Got Talent, right? Yes. So we were super excited about that. I was, uh, we went to auditions on uh, Friday, and it was a uh, reality filming. So we're going to be there. Like I think we're going to come out on some of the commercials and just the, the, the entrance. That is okay. So cool. Well, robots. All together, we've got some music going on here. Light them up. Show us your best moves as of right now. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Robot number one. Okay, he's got some moves. I like that. Number two. Whoa. Oh. Ooh, that's cold. And number three. How do you? How do you not get hyped up with this? It does kind of put you in a good mood just seeing eight foot tall dancing robots that are that are lit up like neon signs. <laughs> and not only for, but you said weddings, uh, yes. birthdays, bar mitzvahs, anything, right? Correct. Got so it. all kinds of events, all any kind of parties, up to corporate events, to small little kids party, clubs. We even go to clubs every now and then. Wow. So they just, just play off the energy that's there, it looks like, yes. on your videos there. That is awesome you guys are talented how long can they stay like this so it usually lasts for like an hour um but yeah it's 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 pretty hard to stay more than an hour it, it gets it gets tiring but it, it i mean th these guys are we try to practice every night um at least once a week yeah well you're Man. very good guys so, yeah yeah once you get the hang of it, it it's pretty easy oh, sorry. <laughs> awesome well speaking of dance moves i think we yes can... well once again Go We're ahead. Talking about dance yeah. moves? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> go ahead. You go. You go, Jen. No, no. <laughs> well, that's our social question that's today. Social question. We want to know because they have dance moves. What's Do you guys your... have a go-to dance move? What is it? Your go-to dance move? Okay. Okay. That the works. flex. All right. The dab. Because you can't move around too much, obviously. <laughs> When you're in uh, two foot stilts, <laughs> the flight and the dab. So, okay. And Mike, do you have a go to dance? <laughs> uh, I guess I would. Okay, no, ready? I'm here, here. Okay, gentlemen, exactly. Ready? Has anybody ever seen Saturday Night Fever? <laughs> 
Okay. Go with me here. Just okay, copy right. him. Yeah, right? yeah. It's just you yeah. know, stay oh, alive. Yeah. Stay alive. Yeah. Okay, come on. Yeah, guys, yeah, right? yeah. Woo. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, there that's you go. good. Yeah. I don't feel as silly since I've got. Oh. There. Oh. <laughs> All right. Your turn, Jen. Get in here. Okay, what is this one called? I forgot. John the, uh, can explain. It's just like the... The attitude chicken, or what is it? Go, go. Oh, 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 our producer, Rossi's got some dance moves, too. Rossi, what's your go-to move? Washing machine, of course. Love it. John? Yes, that's right. John. <laughs> Once again, John? it is the... <laughs> Giant dancing robots or the oh my goodness. dancing cameraman. Sex Ooh, entertainment. <laughs> the robots don't have names, but gentlemen, thank you very much. Yes. Wonderful dancer. Please send us your go to dance moves and we'll share them throughout the show. And if you'd like All more right. information about the Sex Entertainment and the dancing robots, go to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, still ahead on SA Live. It's a wild Wednesday. Do you know what this animal is? We'll give you a hint. It resides in Africa. That and more facts coming up. Plus, classic American Eats you will love. David Eller takes you to So Hill Cafe and another Elder Eats edition. So stay with us. I guess we have to do the robot now. is Beacon Hill's newest restaurant creating scratch-made Italian food with a twist. Like their meatball sandwich mix-up, the Meatball Burger. A huge Italian seasoned meatball gets smashed on a flat top. Locally sourced buns get covered in creamy garlic aioli and house-made marinara gets added on top of the meatball patty. Then, Smoked Gouda cheese gets melted over the top and covered with a house-made smoky bacon tomato jam and finished with fresh arugula. That is a meatball burger. Like a meatball sandwich, but way better because it's a burger form. That's delicious. So that bacon tomato jam is smoky and it combines with that marinara so it almost becomes like a barbecue sauce. That smoked gouda on top, come on. So Hill Cafe is located at the original location of Caz Beers, an iconic San Antonio cafe that has now been transformed. Very casual, you know, come and have a bottle of wine. And we cater to anybody, do you want to bring your family in? You want to come in on a date and sit in a booth in the dark corner and split a bottle of wine? The rustic Italian cafe has a custom built pizza oven cranking out some of the best pizza you can find find on Blanco Road. All right. Damn. That is really good. When you order the fennel sausage, it's like it has this very herbaceous flavor to it, but then that goat cheese, it just comes at you, it just gets you. And the cafe is also serving up some premium house-made pasta. Like their pesto fettuccine with the wild mushroom medley and grilled chicken. This looks fantastic. Those mushrooms, they're sauteed perfectly. You know, all that fresh pesto. I mean, everything made in-house, and that's a big part of it. There we go. The pasta is so delicate, but it holds on to the sauce really well. So Hill Cafe is a great addition to the San Antonio food scene. It's a place to bring the family and a romantic date night spot, serving great Italian food with a solid wine list. So when you come out to So Hill Cafe, you ask for the burger, you ask for the pizza, you ask for it all. It is really, really good. Everything down to the pasta, just perfect. That meatball burger though. What? Want to check out all the other places I've been to? Now you can. Just go to eldereats.com or follow me online at Elder Eats on social media. Keep eating San Antonio for SA Live. I'm David Elder. Ooh, that looked good. Still ahead on the show, and this looks good too, a recipe with a kick. We're giving you the taste of Korea at Charity Bar for International Hot and Spicy Day. Plus, it is a wild Wednesday. What is an aw day? We'll show you all the fun facts about this African animal. You can find it at Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch. Stay with us.
Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch to learn all about the Audads. And joining me is Tiffany Secting, who's going to tell us more. These are our Audad. Uh -huh. They also call them Barberry Sheep. Uh -huh. And that because of the region that they're from. But they they call them a sheep, but they're actually closer related to a goat than they are sheep. The males and females both have horns. Mm -hmm. The males just get a lot larger uh -huh. and a lot broader. And then they get they get a huge mane of yeah, hair. Yeah, so it almost looks like this kind of yeah. beardish type. Yeah, thing. like a big right. beard thing, and it goes down the front legs. Um, the females, when they have young, they'll actually have like babysitters. So all the little ones that kind of go around one and then the rest of the herd to kind of go off and eat. And then that one female will take care of the little ones. There's just a but babysitter on duty. There's just a babysitter <laughs> on duty. <laughs> so they have like their own little daycare exactly. system worked out. Yes. That's convenient. And being that both males and females both have horns, when the little one is born, it takes them no time and they have like little nubbins and, and they grow their horns very rapidly. This guy right here that's all muddy, he is a male. He has a, that big mane and, and obviously he's interested in the female there. Yes. As we look across and we see the largest ones with the largest horns, with the big mane, mm -hmm. they, all, they have mud on them. Why the reason that? they do is with just having a rain recently, what they do is they'll urinate in the mud and then they'll roll in it and cover it. That's Why are their boys version. So gross sometimes. Boys are so <laughs> gross. But that's their version of eternity for men. <laughs> <laughs> Is the best way I can describe it. There's also other males in this herd. Right. But the dominant males are the ones that you're gonna see with all the mud on them. So because they have horns, mm -hmm. if they break, that's it, right? If they break, that's it. There's a couple of these more mature males that, you know, when they're fighting for dominance, you know, they kind of ram each other. They use those horns that way. And so some of those older males, you can see where some of the, the layers of that horn have fallen off just because of that, that hitting constantly. But if they lose them, it will never grow back the same. They have bone core on the inside that attaches it to the skull, but then, but then there's a sheath on the outside that's made out of keratin, like our hair and fingernails, and it just grows slowly the entire life. Depending on if it's a male or female, depends on how big they get. And where are these guys from? These guys are from Northern Africa. Um, they're ca also called Barbary sheep, Audad Barbary sheep, and from the Barbary coast, the Northern region of Africa. Well, for more information on Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Best I could. A special performance from country singer Damon Curtis. And earlier we asked you, what's your go-to dance move? Frank says, my go-to dance is the Carlton, the Tom Jones song. That's a good one, Frank. And Vicky says, a move I call the roll. It is a move where you roll your body. Oh, sounds good. Uh, yeah, the Carlton. That's a good one, Frank. Keep them coming. Well, khaki and plaid may not sound like they go together, but that is the theme for the big Catholic school educational fundraiser, which is coming up. It's the khaki and plaid Royal Ball hosted by Hope for the Future, Hope for Future, pardon me. Amy Hone is the director of Hope for Future is here with me today. Welcome, Amy. Thank you very much. Tough act to follow, dancing uh, I giant know, robots and, and the, the odd ads. The um... odd ads and everything. Anyway, <laughs> big, big fundraiser. Uh, explain it. Okay, well, Hope for the Future supports the 38 Catholic schools in the Archdiocese of San Antonio. We run a need-based tuition assistance program, and we also do grants to the schools for things like technology, curriculum, and security. Um, Hope, I'm sorry, Hope for the Future. <laughs> Hope That's for the okay. Future's been around about 12 years, and Keck and Platt is our largest fundraiser. And how much do you raise? Well, what last year we raised a million dollars. Wow. So um, we hope to do that again this year. We have about 1,300 people. It's a huge gala. We're down at the convention center. So how many uh, kids do you help out, and, and how does that work? Does everybody get, like, a full-ride scholarship, or...? 
What happens? No, so hope for the future is just a little bit of extra assistance for those families who just really can't quite afford the tuition of Catholic schools. So the families contribute something, most of the schools contribute to, and then hope for the future helps them out. Um, our average is about a thousand dollar tuition assistance award, and we award more than two million dollars a year to about twenty one hundred families. And since you started, raised a big, big bunch of money. Right. So we're we're over twenty million dollars and we've been around um, for almost 12 years. Okay, and this is not just a, a fundraiser, but it's also kind of a, a homecoming, if you will. It is. It's great because there are so many Catholic schools and so many people in San Antonio have been to Catholic school. This is just a big party. So alumni, parents of student of current students, they all come in and it's a really fun time. And they also crown a king and queen, just like at the homecoming. So how does that work? Every year we have 10 community leaders, so five men and five women, and they um, raise money for a 90-day period. And the man that raises the most money gets crowned king, and the woman who raises the most money gets crowned queen. Okay. Now, and you can vote for your favorite if you want to. They're not all Absolutely. local, but if you want to go online and vote, right? Right. Anybody can go online and vote for their, for their favorite person. Um, we have a retired bishop. We have... Um, one of the sisters that teaches at St. James the Apostles. So if you're not tied to a candidate, you can go on and vote for Sister Lindsay and um, otherwise vote for one of those community leaders. And there's one who's in the running that's kind of a special one this year, right? Yes. So for the very first time, we have a Hope for the Future recipient who has come back to pay it forward and give back. So when she was in high school at Providence Catholic School, she received Hope for the Future assistance, and now she's a reporter for the San Antonio Express News, and she's on our court. Her name is Maddie Mendoza. Okay, and this is coming up a week from Saturday. Can anybody yes. go? Yes, absolutely. To? We still have a couple of tables left and tickets. You can go to hopeforfuture.org or follow that bit.ly link that you see on the screen and um, – Get your table. That's to directly buy the tickets and vote if you'd like to. But then right. also, for more information on Hope for the Future, you can go to their website, which is hopeforfuture.org, or give them a call at 210-734-1963. And once again, how many Catholic schools in town? Uh, there are 38 Catholic schools in the Archdiocese. In the Archdiocese? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much. Good luck with it. And that's, again, coming up on the 26th. Appreciate it, Amy. Thank you. And we will be back. Welcome back to SA Live. Our next performer is a country singer from Moulton, about halfway to Houston. And Damon Curtis, his music is inspired by country legends like Keith Whitley and, of course, George Strait. He learned to play guitar at 20, and he released his first LP, Changing Lanes, just last year. He now tours with his band all around the country and has shared the stage with some of the biggest artists in the industry today. You can catch him live at the Poor House venue in New Braunfels tomorrow at 8.30. For information on his music, visit salive.com and click the Ask Seen on SA Live tab. Here's Damon Curtis performing Heart of Stone. Take it. We ride so blue I wouldn't have known That a girl like you had a heart of stone It's time to move on and what you want to hear I put up these walls But I never shed a tear So you 
slam that door in my face Once again, Damon Curtis is performing live tomorrow night at the Poor House in New Braunfels. Visit EssayLive.com for more information. All right, still ahead, Wings with a Kick. We're giving you a taste of Korea at the Charity Bar. Plus, the difference between a regular and skinny margarita. We're shaking skinny cocktails with Artisan on Alamo. Stay with us. But first, here's a look at the lineup at the Tobin Center, brought to you by BMW. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, if you didn't know, today is International Hot and Spicy Food Day. What better way to kick that off than to have some ramen, some chicken wings. I have Chef Ernie Bradley with Korea at Charity Bar here today to share a little bit of the menu. Sure. But first, where does the name come from? Korea? So Korea is the uh, Japanese word for kitchen. And so it literally translates to the kitchen at Charity Bar. So a very... Uh, laid back, non-assuming name to go along with our food. We focus on uh, obtaining as many local ingredients as possible. We like to bring in everything whole. We butcher our own pigs, our own chickens. Uh, and we really focus on keeping all of the ingredients to the most simple, uh, basic form and not getting convoluted, just keeping everything nice and clean. Pure. Well, it looks just beautiful, what you brought today. Um, mm -hmm. And what are we making today? So I'm today we're going to do a couple of different things. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to put uh, some of our chicken wings in the fryer so those can be cooking for us. Okay. So we've already blanched these. They've gone for the, uh, the prerequisite 12 minutes at 250 degrees to kind of help get them nice and crispy on the outside. And it's been about three or four minutes inside the oil here. So while we're doing that, I have, uh, I've already par-branched uh, some edamame, and we're going to char these up. And we use a, a nice little handy little torch here, which is a lot of fun to play with. Ooh. Everybody really enjoys it. And then you just kind of go over them like this. And what and does so that do? What does it add to So it? you're adding a lot of bitterness to the outside of it. You're also just giving some really nice complexity to it. Here, you okay. do it. All right. I like to play with fire a little. Let's see. <laughs> Good. Don't be scared to let it sit on something. The whole okay. point is to char it. Ah. There you go. Okay. Good, good. Learning, That's wonderful. I'm learning. Okay. So at Charity Bar, we focus on Japanese cuisine. Uh, we do have um, some different types of dumplings. Really, it's a, it's a lot of small plates uh -huh. that we work on. Uh, we do carry ramen, yakisoba. Uh, we're working on some other dishes to be added as well as like a house-made udon, too. What are some of the customer favorites there? So uh, the katsudon sliders are really popular. Uh, our steam buns are also really a huge hit. Uh, our gyoza dumplings, uh, both the shrimp and the pork, are really, really popular as well. That's great right there. Okay. okay. So then we'll turn this off. And for someone who's never been, what's the one thing they must try? Oh, um, the chicken wings. Chicken wings. Absolutely, the chicken wings. So what we're going to do here. Can I help? Sure. Okay. I'm going to hold that. We're going to dump these in here. All right. So we want to season these up. So the first thing we're going to do is add a little bit of sesame seed oil. Right here, you want to get just a little bit, just a few drizzles. Oh, that's perfect, great. Okay. And then we season with Hondashi, which is a dehydrated stock they use in Japan, full of umami, lots and lots. Oh, go liberal, go crazy with it. There okay. you go, perfect. <laughs> and a little bit of salt. Okay. And Charity Bar is really unique, right? 
It is. Uh, the great thing about Charity Bar is that uh, we are here for the community. We work very closely with nonprofit organizations. We pick three every month. And at the end of the month, we give all the profits from the sale of alcohol to those non-profit uh, organizations. That's amazing. Does it's, anybody else do that? I, not that I know I of that's here. Awesome. There's a, a place in Houston that we know of that does it, but I think that's it. So what that's are, perfectly seasoned there. Mike, so you then, have to come smell this. What's okay. next? <laughs> in here? Uh -huh, so we're oh, going to yeah. put those in there. All that presentation, that right? Okay. So if you've never had edamame before, you yeah. eat the beans, not the husk. So you just mm -hmm. pull it in, and you're just going to... Pull them out like what do you that. Think? Mm. Ooh, not great. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Ooh means that's delicious. <laughs> that's great. No, I, I love it with that seasoning on the outside there. No, and you the, get that on your tongue, and then you pull the edamame. Absolutely, out. and so you get a really nice texture. They are steamed with a pretty heavily salted water, so you do have some salt on the inside as well. So you get really nice flavor. Let's talk about that. What oh, the yakisoba. Now this is one of our most amazing. popular dishes. So yakisoba is a stir-fried noodle. Um, what we do is uh, this one's got a little bit of shogiaki, which is a thinly sliced gingered pork. And we're going to toss that with some caramelized onions, uh, carrots, nice. stir fry those noodles in a really nice uh, uh, Worcestershire bl uh, black pepper uh, sauce, and then top it off with some spicy mayo, green onions, our house pickled ginger, as well as uh, some katsubushi. Awesome. So you guys have some specials now. You have lunch yeah. uh, starting up in February. We'll be open for lunch and Tuesday, and mm -hmm. Tuesday through Friday at 11 o'clock starting in February. Uh, we do happy hour from 5 to 7. All of our appetizers are half off. We have an amazing $6 old-fashioned that we use Buffalo Ooh. Trace bourbon for. It's one of my favorite drinks. I just have to go. Um, All right. right. Oh, good, good. Those are just All about right. ready. Chicken wings are done. Okay. Just enough of a kick. Yeah. No, it's great. It, yeah. To me, this is like one of the best beer-drinking foods you can possibly make. You can have a beer. You eat this. Everything stays nice and All balanced. Right. It's well, one of my out favorite of time, things. So we'll okay. take a bite of these here in the commercial mm -hmm. break. But for more information on Charity Bar, just go to salive.com, where we've provided a link. Thank you so much, Ernie. Thank you. Appreciate it. Next on SA Live, a taste of prickly pear cactus vodka. We're making skinny cocktails. Plus, can you guess how many calories are in a regular margarita? You won't believe the difference. Stay with us. Looking to try some new spots for the new year. Artisan on Alamo Distillery is the only place in the world that serves prickly pear, cactus, vodka, and it's pet friendly as well. <laughs> Where to put your vodka. commas on that line? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Nick Spinks here. How are you, sir? Yes. Doing great. Yes. Good to be here. All right, yeah. we are shaking things up. Uh, what are we skinny making? Skinny cocktails, today? right? Yeah. We're gonna make some skinny cocktails. It's always a great way of uh, decreasing your calorie count and stuff like that. Okay. So we're gonna start with a vodka lemonade. Let's do four count of vodka in that. One, two, three. And four. we're actually gonna use zero water because it has no calories on that. Now okay. can you guess the calorie count on that compared to regular so just, lemonade? There you go, that's good. That good, okay. Now go ahead and shake it up and then pour it in the glass. So the calorie count so, on what, the zero? On the what zero one. You still have the zero? You, no, you still have calories in vodka. <laughs> you still have calories in vodka. Because um, the regular one, it says has 180 calories. Yes. Mm -hmm. And to refresh and stuff, you also have a squeezer right in front of you with fresh lemon. Always okay. refresh it with a lot of fresh stuff. Okay. Just squeeze it on in. There you go. So how many calories do you think that has? Now, the, the fruit has a little calories, too. I'll say... How many do you taste? I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> cut it in half. I'll say it's cut in half. There's about 70 what? calories in that. Wow, so really? Yeah, you're close. Oh, no okay. I put, I put 80 because you have 10 calories for the lemon. Okay. So you can always do a different transition on that. So you can do the same thing, but go ahead and muddle up some blackberries, and it's, again, um, One, you know, only about 80 calories. Two, three. And then we're going to use the zero again, four. and this is a nice, refreshing drink, and it's really, really easy to make. And then I'm So putting, go ahead and do the zero on top. Doing the water in here again, okay. About that much. And then toss the blackberries over the top of that and shake it in. So just there as in shake up the whole thing. Scoop them out, okay. Oh, there we go, oh, the whole thing, gotcha. The whole thing, oh, easier that way. Like this. Gotcha. Okay. And you can use a spoon for muddling, you don't have to have fancy equipment right. or anything like that. So, okay. and then pour it in that and try that one. You can always make this non-alcoholic too for when you aren't drinking. Right. You just don't put the vodka in it and then there's actually no, there's 10 calories in that whole drink. Also, I'm, That's I'm, it. I like watching Mike drink, <laughs> okay. <laughs> that one's really good. Oh, that is, and just that, that little bit of the blackberry in the there blackberry. adds another little uh -huh. kind of layer of flavor to it. So let's go to a popular drink, the margarita. So the regular margarita has over 600 calories in it. Yeah, it's so one of the highest, isn't it? How okay. we're going to lighten this is that we actually, I actually make my own, I don't call it simple syrup, I call it a sugar infusion. So all you're doing is taking about 10% sugar mm -hmm. in it and just pouring water in this and filling it up um, and shaking it up. 
because this is this is how you reduce your calories. You shake it up. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And that's what you use for a little sweetener. You have to have a little sweetener in this. Okay. So I've already mixed some in here. Okay. So I'll go ahead and put. Uh, a five count in that. Okay. So then about how much sweetener would you put in? Maybe just uh, an ounce of it perhaps, or less um, than this, that? This, this is what I did is, is about four ounces. Okay. Go ahead and do two ounces, which is a four count of the vodka. Okay. But how we're gonna make this into a, a margarita is, is, Mike, if you grab your squeezer over there. Okay. Um, and then squeeze, uh, Fiona, if you could uh, mm -hmm. do lemon and lime. Lemon and lime, okay. All right. Just squeeze it. Just squeeze it on in. Mm -hmm. You want me to do the You'd be, official? Mm -hmm. That's all right. <laughs> got it. There we go. Strong, aren't you? Mm -hmm. And then go ahead and shake that up. And this is uh, basically a, a light Rita over, over ice and stuff. So what do you think the calorie count of this is? Because it has a little bit of sugar. Uh, I'll go with half again, approximately. So from 680 to... 60. Seriously? Yep. And you have tours at your place, I right? I do have tours. Uh, every Thursday, Friday, Saturday at 4 o'clock and 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And on viewers, if they uh, email me and stuff, uh, they'll do a free tour. Hey, that's, that's, that's good. That's good. So, Yeah. And that's only 60 Wow, only really? 60 calories. So right. another thing that this is not a calorie count one is just a winner thing uh, you can do, uh, which we do, is have an apple cider over our bourbon, um, which oh, we do we create our own good. apple cider. So it's literally... Uh, about four count over that. So that's just the apple cider right that's now? That's just the apple cider. Hold on. It's good. <laughs> and if I you try want, to just feel cool. No, just pretend. But if you, okay. if you want a warm know. drink, all you do is, <laughs> without the cube, you heat this up prior. Uh -huh. You don't heat it up with the bourbon. But then you do a, a four count there. Because you'll burn off all the alcohol, burn obviously. Off all the alcohol. So. Okay. Try don't that. mind if I do. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh, that tastes like it. We are, we are pet minutes. friendly, we, and we do make the okay. puptini, which we made earlier. Okay. For more information yes. on Artisan on Alamo, visit SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Tomorrow on SA Live, a classic Italian restaurant serving up authentic dishes. David Elder takes us inside Raza Brava. Ooh, that is good. Plus, giddy up. Rodeo Crafts to be a sure hit with the kiddos. That and more tomorrow at 1. We'll be right back. Your go-to dance moves is fast. <laughs> the sassy chicken, yes. Big J says the Charlie Brown. <laughs> the one on the left. I always <laughs> love that one. Yeah. Marsha says my go-to dance is the chicken dance. Okay. The chicken dance is fun. Yeah. And my grandma Teresa getting down. <laughs> you know what? Grandma's dancing. That's good stuff. I want to do your that. sassy chicken. Real quick no, I'm not. Nah, don't you dare. I, I, just, I just asked. I just asked. I didn't say you were going to do it. <laughs> hey, coming up tomorrow, Dave is going to take us to uh, Brazza Brava Italian. Yes. Really, and we're really doing good. a vaquero cook off. We have yep. cowboy crafts. Yeah, because rodeo is just right around the corner. Can you believe, believe that already? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, and we hope you had a good time. Those dancing giant robots, they <laughs> dancing, were a lot of fun. Dancing, good music, and we're going to actually leave you with Damon Curtis. He's playing us out. Take it Stay away. Stay warm today. See ya.
change and people grow And I don't even know where you went Time's flew by and pages passed 